Hi there, meteorologist Daniel Grant here in the Denver 7 Weather Center. Let's talk about the month of May because throughout the month of May, we usually can see a lot of extremes around here. Rain, snow, severe storms, tornadoes. We really get a taste of it all. And yes, severe weather season certainly starts to pick up. Snowfall certainly we're on the tail end, but up in the mountains, many ski resorts still will be in operation. So let's talk about some of those extremes. You have to go way back. I'm, I'm talking way back. May 1870. That was when we saw our wettest May on record, more than eight and a half inches stacking up. Several Mays also on the drier side, but the driest one a little more recent back in 1974 when we only picked up six hundredths throughout the entire month. Of course, we're talking about snow and the snowiest May that we have ever seen was also a long, long time ago, 1898, when we picked up more than 15 and a half inches. Now, typically May, we're kind of on the tail end of the snowfall season and the average is about 1.7. But here it is, the top seven uh, Mays that we have seen snowfall, I should say the snowiest Mays anyway, there is that 1898 number one spot, but it certainly has been quite some time Time since we have seen these big time top seven totals around here. What about the rain? The top seven wettest Mays that we have on record, of course, back in the 1800s, still taking the cake on that one. But more recently, in fact, last May, we were sitting in that number four spot for the wettest May with more than five and a half inches stacking up. Really soggy conditions coming through, of course, with severe thunderstorms when we just see so much rain coming out of those severe cells. What also we see, unfortunately, the damaging side of these storms, and that can be hail. We usually have a pretty good shot throughout the month of May of dealing with hail larger off to the eastern plains and the fact that many storms do turn severe. They bring us some really strong wind gusts anywhere between 60, 70 miles per hour and the threat for seeing tornadoes as well. So as far as the drought conditions go, it has been fairly soggy, uh, a soggy start to the year truly so we do not have any drought conditions up and down the i-25 corridor the northern mountains we are abnormally dry out across far southwestern colorado and also the eastern plains with moderate drought just beginning to creep in across the far southeastern corner of the state few spots with severe drought around the midwest and also moderate drought conditions existing across the pacific northwest looking ahead toward the next 30 days where will the rain be will it be in colorado throughout the month of may and right now Climate Prediction Center really looking at equal chances for a wetter than average year or also a drier than average month. Again, that little bullseye clipping the San Luis Valley, the San Juans, but certainly wetter than average as you stretch off across the East Coast and then further around the Northern Plains. What about the 30 day outlook as far as the temperatures are concerned right now looking like above average heat coming to far southeastern Colorado again stretching across really two thirds of the country cooler than average temperatures that bullseye sitting right there into Southern California and parts of Arizona too. All right, I want to take you not only throughout the month of May, but also kind of get you into a jump start for the summer season and what the temperatures are looking like right now. Not only Colorado, but much of the country looking at warmer than average conditions all the way up around Washington State through Portland, Oregon, stretching throughout parts of Texas. And then you can see the East Coast also looking incredibly warm. What about the precipitation? Well, out to the East Coast, wetter than average conditions predicted. But for many of us here in Colorado, maybe the Western Slope, parts of the Sangre de Cristos looking slightly drier than average. Not great news as far as the drought monitor that I just showed you. And then also parts of the Pacific Northwest looking at drier than average conditions coming our way. So that's kind of a snapshot of what to expect not only for the month of May, but also a sneak peek into the summer to come hot and dry. And that's going to be the name of the game as it has been and continues to do.